Hello all you lighting collectors out there. Today I will be showing you my Rayovac Workhorse uh, fluorescent lantern. Now I picked this up at my local Goodwill for maybe around four or five dollars. I can't remember. It's been a while. But uh, uh, it takes two F4T5 fluorescent tubes and it runs on two six volt batteries. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up just to show you the inside. Get my pliers here. So how you open it is this, it's held in by uh, two of these little fasteners. One of them's broken so I have to use these pliers. So I just open it right this way. Hope you can see it alright. Sorry for the awkward camera angles. Hold on a second. Let me go ahead and put the camera down. I don't have a tripod at the moment. I do apologize for that. There we go. So here is the battery compartment. As you can see it takes two 6 volt lantern batteries. And I believe this lantern was made around the mid 80s to late 80s or early 90s. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Now, to get to the tubes, there's these little knobs down here you turn. You turn it uh, counterclockwise to move the tube. Here it is, the tube assembly. You can see the tube is well used, but it still works. I did test this on my uh, 4 watt preheat fluorescent light, and it appears that both of these lamps are both well used, by the way. They both have an open cathode, so they do not work, unfortunately, on a preheat fluorescent light, but it does work perfectly on this lantern. So, here's the tube. They're, they're, both of them are exactly the same. It's made in Japan, and it's actually a nice, these produce a nice color, not uh, too blue, like some cheap daylight lamps are. And then here's the uh, insert where the pins go. Now this one I can't get out because uh, it appears that the transistor and the ballast overheated and it deformed the plastic inside, uh, preventing this from coming out. But the lantern still works, fortunately. So what you do, to put this back in, you just stick the two pins in the bottom here, like so, and there you go. So and then you just slide the whole assembly back inside the lantern, and then get and then turn it. Uh, clockwise to lock it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and put the batteries back in and then put the light assembly back on. Forgot to mention it also has a handle on the top for uh, convenient carrying and it's made out of metal too. And this handle is made out of metal which is really nice. Um, I don't know what this is for. It looks like a button so you can inside you have little uh, metal or plastic shutters, these silver things, I guess they uh, turn, they come outward so you can direct the light where you need it. So let's go ahead and uh, put the, uh, make sure it's on the right spot, so you got to make sure this metal, these two metal tabs are in the same place as the switch, or else it won't work, obviously. So let me go ahead and put it back together. I do apologize for the camera as I don't have a tripod at the moment. And plus I'm using my iPhone as the camera, so where did I put those pliers? Alright. There we go. Put it back together. So without further ado, I'll turn these uh fluorescent lights off right here and we'll go ahead and turn it on if the camera decides to focus there we go it's pretty nice as you can see the tubes are quite used let me go ahead and shut off these other lights here so we can see what it looks like in the dark oh yeah this one's got a full chain on it it does actually do a fairly good job at lighting the room up. Observed. Pretty bright. And yeah, this thing works well. It runs the fluorescent tubes at decent power and they start up reliably. And yeah. So that's what it looks like. 
So there you have it. Uh, look at my uh, Rayovac work workhorse fluorescent lantern. I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace.